Hi, it's Handy Andy Tech Tips here. So, as I'm sure you're aware, Microsoft has recently unveiled Windows 11. The new OS has heaps of exciting features, such as a redesigned taskbar and start menu, the ability to install Android apps, and plenty more. But hidden amongst these improvements are a few caveats. In order to install Windows 11, your PC needs a Trusted Platform Module, or TPM, 2.0 chip. TPM is a way of storing and generating encryption keys in hardware, which is safer than using a software approach because it is harder for malicious software to access. You can tell whether your computer has TPM by opening the run box and typing tpm.msc. If it says that the TPM is ready for use, and the specification version is listed as 2.0, then you're good. On the other hand, it might say that a compatible TPM could not be found, but don't worry, you might be able to enable TPM functionality on your system. The first method is to simply install a TPM chip. Now this is usually harder than it sounds. If you're using a desktop PC, your motherboard might have a header for a TPM module, like my ASUS H170 Pro does. But you need exactly the right module in order to work, and in the case of my H170 Pro, the official ASUS part appears to have been discontinued. So that's when you can turn to the second option, enabling TPM in the BIOS. If your PC was built after the mid-2010s, there's a good chance that it has TPM functionality regardless of whether it has a dedicated chip. This is because many CPUs actually include TPM in their firmware. Intel's trade name for this technique is Platform Trust Technology, or PTT, and they started including it with some of their fourth generation Haswell processors in 2013. Most AMD Ryzen chips also include so-called FTPM technology. Now I'll show you how I enabled Intel's PTT in my BIOS. I have an ASUS motherboard with a Core i7-6700 Skylake processor installed, so your BIOS screens may vary, but the process will be roughly similar. Okay, so I am booting up and I'm just going to press the delete key on the keyboard to enter the uh, BIOS. And now you can see down the bottom it says advanced mode, so I'll just click that, you can press F7 as well. And once we're in advanced mode, we're going to click on the advanced tab up the top. And then go into PCHFW configuration, which is a bit of a weird name for it, but it's under there. So here we go, see, TPM device selection. So you want to make sure that this says firmware TPM, which will use the PTT in your CPU instead of the hardware TPM chip. Now you can see that when I reboot the system and go into tpm.msc, I have a functioning TPM module. Success! Hey, I'm Handy Andy, and I really hope that this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to my channel for more Windows 11 tips, and thank you very much for watching.